All right, guys, how's it going? I wanted to bring you an update to yesterday's video. Um, I'm sure you are curious as to how the computer has turned out. So obviously the computer is sitting here in front of me. I'm just using it more as a prop today. Uh, I wanted to give you my initial impressions, um, give you a little bit of information about how the setup process has gone, and also my thoughts on uh, the quality of not only the hardware but the software. Um, so first things first, wanted to tell you a little bit about my first impressions. The first impressions are this is a beautiful, beautiful machine. Uh, very exciting to get set up, although I was disappointed. I had purchased a late 2016, I didn't talk about this, a late 2016 13-inch uh, Pro, a MacBook Pro, in March of this year, and I had purchased it and returned it not too long afterwards. Um, after using uh, Mavericks for years, and enjoying the stability. Now, it, it may not be the most stable operating system, but the, st the relative stability of the operating system, getting used to how it functions and all that. Um, coming over to something that was more or less uh, under-tested, it seemed, uh, seemed like a mistake, especially for the money that I was paying. Even at a discount, um, it seemed like a mistake. So I returned it. I still maintained a time machine backup because I had taken hours and hours of time to configure the machine how I liked it to migrate information over from my uh, iMac and you know etc etc I had set up a virtual box installation of Windows 8.1 so that I could run engineering software and run certain software that's only supported on Windows and it, it was going to be a beast but I wasn't I wasn't satisfied with the way the machine was working and I can go on and on about that but I figured I would wait to see if there were some improvements to the computer, maybe make a different choice, maybe change my mind, or maybe just see that the software had advanced because at the time it was early, fairly early versions of Sierra and I was not particularly thrilled with some of the things that were going down in Sierra. Just little visual glitches, little um, things that made me feel less than confident uh, that I was using a stable operating system and a stable machine. So. Fast forward to late September or uh, August, let's say, and I'm looking at uh, you know my options and my computers are really um, from hunger in a sense, and I'm looking at a machine that you know I need I need a fast machine. I want a portable machine, something with a decent screen size because the Mac 13 inch. While it was great when I had the Air, it just doesn't seem to cut it for me as a main mobile machine, considering uh, my main mobile machine has been a Windows uh, laptop that's been probably 15.6 inches and before that 14 something. So I wanted something that was about 15 inches and that's what I got. So I got a 15 inch computer, uh, not fully spec'd out, but it has a quad core processor even in the base model. I wanted 16 gigabytes of RAM and it came, you know, even the base model 15 comes with 16 gigs. And I wanted uh, at least 500 gigs of storage. I had six, I have 640 gigs of hard disk storage on my uh, iMac. Probably don't need all of that, but uh, for internal storage, I wanted enough so I could store um, audio libraries for things like uh, Logic. I wanted to store videos I might be working on in, let's say, Final Cut or iMovie. I want to be able to store uh, plenty of documents, pictures, and various things that I don't necessarily want to archive right away. So I wanted more than enough space, plus enough space where I could run a virtual machine of a full operating system and run engineering software or whatnot and really take advantage of the graphics performance and the performance of the machine. Anyway, that's the backstory. That's sort of why I chose it. Um, and so I had this backup. And so what happened was First initial impressions were, you know, I'm excited to use the machine, but what am I to expect because I'm more skeptical now uh, approaching it later. It does have the 2017 processors. It should have the upgraded, the updated um, graphics card. I think it used to be the 455 and the 460. I believe it's now the 555 and the 560 um, Radeon cards. And so uh, there are upgrades, but what I was really waiting for is that upgrade in, in operating system, and that is High Sierra. And so High Sierra was announced to come out in late 
September and that's when my wheels started turning about considering purchasing a computer and that's why we are in mid-October and not too much time has passed but I've decided to go ahead with the purchase and so I wanted uh, Sierra, Hi Sierra because I've always been uh, more interested in the stability releases, the performance releases rather than the feature releases because Mac OS has plenty of features, it has plenty of aesthetic um, uh, credibility. All right, it is one. It is possibly the most visually appealing operating system in the world, and it is very feature rich and it is very powerful. It's not just for people who, you know, like to spend a lot of money on their computers, like some people think, and and just want something easy because they can't do more sophisticated tasks. That's absolutely not true. Um, it's for people who appreciate great design, want solid performance understand the importance of an operating system that is designed so that it's not uh, an afterthought essentially. It should be something that integrates well with um, various product, with the hardware, with uh, other software, and so that it doesn't get in your way. It enables you, it empowers you, but it doesn't get in your way. It actually propels you. It's not a, a chore. It's not a um, an onerous uh, task that you need to tend to in order to maintain it. And that's what I find Windows to be sometimes. Sometimes it's fine on a powerful machine, I'm sure, but you know, why put, why take a, a V8 engine, all right, naturally aspirated, and, and put it, I'm just going to give an analogy, I'm not a, an expert in, in motors, but you know, take that, make it natural, take a naturally aspirated engine you know, let's say from 40 years ago or 50 years ago and throw that in a car today when we know very well that you could take a V6 or a, v or a four cylinder or even an eight cylinder, turbocharge it, supercharge it, use modern technology, squeeze more performance out of it and possibly get better uh, mileage, better fuel economy. So why, why take something that is underpowered all right, that you know, you just want to beef it up. Let's say, just beef it up and beef it up with more hardware power for a lesser cost in, let's say, the the Windows world. But then you take something and weigh it down. You're not using an efficient method to squeeze power out of that um, hardware. And I, I feel like the Mac operating system squeezes uh, more efficiently the power out of the hardware and uses it more efficiently rather than. Um, needing brute force, needing all this hardware, this overbuilt hardware that quite frankly is probably underutilized in a lot of ways uh, other than, you know, test benches like, you know, Geekbench and, and certain tasks because to me there's a lot of bloated uh, behavior. But that's a rant for another time. The point is, this is why I chose this machine. It's very powerful but it's still running Mac OS. So I'm excited for High Sierra. High Sierra is a performance release. I figured it would be a stability re release. It seems like it would be the uh, Snow Leopard to Leopard, the Mountain Lion to Lion, the El Capitan to Yosemite. Uh, just the list goes on and on. It is. It should be the improved version, not necessarily massive changes, although some things I was excited about was the introduction of the APFS, the Apple Filing System. And so the speed increases, supposedly some security increases, you know, um, that is file integrity, I believe, data protection. But really, uh, the performance increases were really attractive to me, a new foundation. Um, this ties into my setup process, right? So this is my thought process behind why I wanted the computer my initial thoughts um, on the computer, my initial thoughts when I opened up the computer were to immediately upgrade to it. Um, and then what I initially did was, like I said, got a uh, Belkin dock, connected it, used it as a hub for the external drive that I had the backup uh, on from the previous MacBook Pro that I had returned, migrated it over after already having a user installed on here, so it created a new user. But the problem was that after all this time it had elapsed, I had made adjustments to the system and kind of gotten it how I liked it. Realized that VirtualBox was not supported, 
um, did not support seemingly macOS High Sierra, which is shame I can't really run Windows unless I go for paid software, or if I downgrade, which seems to be a pain, and I can talk about that either in the latter part of this video or another video, um, or go to boot camp or something like that. So that's a pain. But that's somewhat to be expected. But the problem was is that, funny enough, despite not digging around too much, I could not delete, even with an administrator account, I could not delete this other account that I had initially created just to do the migration for by going into users and groups, authenticating, and using the minus sign. The minus sign was grayed out for the user. Couldn't tell you why was finally able to fix it, but I wasn't satisfied because I felt there was a corruption. So instead of reinstalling just the operating system and leaving the data and doing all this, I said, you know what, let me try uh, setting up the computer from scratch all over again. So after, uh, I believe it was a netboot recovery mode into the latest version of the, excuse me, first I tried a netboot into the shipping OS, which I believe was uh, Sierra 10.12.6, uh, tried to get that back. Um, after I had already upgraded from HFS Plus to APFS, it seemed like a nightmare, honestly. The way that uh, Disk Utility seems to have been neutered, almost, uh, it, may be, it may be enough for most tasks, but the, the way it, wor it seems to work, it, it just doesn't seem quite as powerful. It might be, could be wrong, but that's what, it, that's what it appears like. But regardless, it should get the job done. The problem is that APFS, the way it's organized, is it shows like a virtual volume or a volume within a physical hard disk, within, not a hard disk necessarily, within a, a physical disk, a solid state disk. And so in the side panel of all volumes, it was showing so many things, despite not having multiple partitions that I had knowingly created at least, it showed, it looked like multiple physical disks, not just volume with a partition, but multiple physical disks, and I full well knew there was only there should only be one disk in here, and so they were showing like duplicates. I was trying to format this, erase one. It was saying fail. I do the other one. It works through, but I'm not sure if I'm getting if I'm cluttering the whole system, making other volumes and file systems. I, I didn't want to mess it all up. So I realized that downgrading didn't seem like a possibility, especially with my limited knowledge of APFS and probably the limited knowledge of online, um, you know, posters, people who post on forums and whatnot. So I just said, you know, I'm going to have to stick it out. I wanted, you know, High Sierra. Hopefully High Sierra wasn't the reason why I was having this issue with deleting users and, you know, possibly other corruptions. Plus, when I was shutting down the computer, it was showing a bright green screen, and I thought some sort of, you know, graphic thing was going on because I had problems in the past with other Macs doing this. Anyway, don't seem to be having that fortune right now, but what I had to do was I went into this netboot recovery mode where I went to, I guess, the Apple servers, downloaded the latest version of the OS, I believe from scratch, and then what I did was instead of setting up a user account and then migrating the data, I just said migrate from, you know, set up from, restore from, rather, um, a time machine backup, and I did it that way, and it seems to be working smoother. I have more testing to do but it seems to be working better. So my suggestion is if you get a Mac running High Sierra, first of all, if you're gonna to go to High Sierra, don't even think about going backwards because you should really know what you're doing before you uh, consider uh, downgrading. It, it seems that it's meant to go up and going backwards. It may be possible, may even be easy, but uh, if you just try to do it and, and try to stay organized and use your prior knowledge, you really need to probably learn more about how APFS is structured before you can even consider downgrading. So just be prepared, have your backups, and just be ready to move forward and not turn back. Uh, maybe try it on a separate machine. If you have the resources, don't even use a main machine. Start on a secondary machine, play around with it, test it, observe it, and figure out how to work with it. So anyway, since I was able to get my information back on, I have a lot of information to cross-check against uh, data, that is, files that I need to cross-check against files I have on my iMac because there have been changes since March, but then again, there are certain files that might not have touched since March, so I need to sort of figure out the latest version. So that's where I'm at with that. Um, I'm satisfied enough with Hi Sierra in a lot of ways. Another video can probably talk about stability of the software put out by Apple uh, in recent times. 
There's some great innovations, don't get me wrong, but definitely uh, some of the stability I think would be better even out of the gate. We're not talking about the latest releases obviously, but these are not beta releases. Um, the hardware that I'm running, my impressions, my review, um, it is probably the best looking hardware, at least on a laptop, probably in the world, aesthetically. It's probably some of the best made hardware. It's really solid. It's really solid, really well made. Feels good um, in the hand. Can heat up, probably because the way it ventilates is through the aluminum, I suppose, and it's so thin that it, it you know, can become hot to the touch if you put a little bit of strain on it, but it is powerful. The touch bar is nice. It's not all that necessary. It seems like the Touch ID is used for less, I think, than it used to be. It seems like back when I was running early versions of Sierra, you were able to use the Touch uh, the touch ID a lot more. Now it seems like you have to put in the password more, but you know, that, that seems all right. I'm not really that bothered by it. The display is gorgeous. Um, it's fast. It's speedy. It's everything, it seems, that was promised in that respect. Um, I'm pleased at the same time there's a lot of uh, external costs that I'm probably going to have to encounter whether it's the dock that I purchased that I'll probably have to repurchase um, should I enjoy it and want to keep it because I can probably get a better deal on it elsewhere um, and then other peripherals probably want that display I was talking about um, so just to give you that little wrap up uh, beautiful hardware took longer than expected to troubleshoot the software. Doesn't seem to be the most stable uh, release yet. Hopefully that'll improve with time. Might have been just the method that I was using to restore the data, but honestly it should have worked, I think, uh, quite a bit smoother. Some compatibility issues are there. I suppose they are to be expected, although you'd think that some of these third-party big companies like Oracle would partner with Apple a little bit better or vice versa so that they can get out a nice, uh, smooth release. Um, but other than that, reasonably satisfied. I think I'm going to hold on to the computer, getting used to it, still customizing it. There'll be more to come. Um, you know, obviously more videos to look forward to. So if you like the video, if you found it useful, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see more videos like this or any of the ones on my channel, or just more technology videos in general, uh, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button. And until next time, of course, don't forget to follow your passions, do what makes you happy, and this is Aaron, signing out.